Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, we'll be talking here about BeamQuest and the second part. Uh, so for those of you that joined in the first session, uh, I sort of walked through the setup and then uh, covered two labs, essentially the first two in this five-part uh, BeamQuest series. Uh, and in this talk, I'm going to cover the remaining three labs. And uh, some of the topics I'm going to sort of go over again, for example, uh, the lab setup and how you can launch the lab. Uh, credits and etc. So again, now that you have this broad overview of various concepts in Apache Beam, uh, this is a great kind of point to apply them. And so for the majority of this presentation, I'm going to walk you through things like lab setup, uh, but also core concepts that each of these labs emphasize. And uh, I want you to remember that if at any point you sort of get stuck, uh, there's always um, some solutions you can refer to on the lab. Uh, that can kind of help uh, drive you forward if needed. So uh, we have, to recap here, five labs. Uh, and so in part one of this, I covered the, uh, what the first two labs go into detail with. And in this, uh, I want to cover what these last three labs are going to sort of cover. Uh, so the first lab I want to cover, uh, which is actually a brand new lab that we uh, are just launching, uh, into this quest is called using Beam ML to catch toxicity in gaming. Uh, and this is going to be in Python. And this is going to be actually going through uh, Beam ML, which is one of our rapid area of expansions in Beam. Uh, and then the, the next two uh, are going to be essentially testing with Apache Beam. So how can we test pipelines uh, in a clean way? And then finally, writing an ETL pipeline with Beam and Cloud Dataflow uh, in Python. Um, okay, so uh, before I sort of uh, jump into what the labs are, I want to uh, go back and sort of walk through the setup. Um, so, uh, one second. So, if you uh, Google search uh, Apache Beam Quest, uh, you should essentially see a blog post, uh, which is there on the first link. Uh, you can see here this blog post on Apache Beam. And if you scroll down, uh, you will actually see here that we have uh, getting started with Apache Beam and that there's a free access code. And so if you click on that, uh, this will take you to uh, this Google Cloud uh, Skills Boost page. And uh, if it doesn't load, you can just search Apache Beam uh, and you'll see getting started with Apache Beam. Uh, and if you hit enter, you'll see that we have this uh, getting started with Apache Beam sort of course. And you can see there's some labs on the left side. Uh, and then this certificate, this completion badge, essentially. Uh, and the next thing we'll want to do is we'll essentially want to either sign in if we already have Google Cloud credentials, or we'll just want to join if we don't uh, already have uh, basically these Quick Labs uh, account or these, these Quick Labs credentials. Uh, and so let's sign in with Google here, and uh, I'm going to sign in. Uh, but this process may look different if you don't already have uh, these Quick Labs credentials. Uh, but when you do sort of um, create your account and you log in, uh, you should see sort of a page similar to this. So mine looks a little bit different because I've gotten the completion badge, but you'll see uh, basically some labs here. Um, and so that's how we access uh, these labs. And so now, uh, looking back to uh, this lab specifically, we're going to look at using Beam ML to catch toxicity in gaming. So in this lab, uh, we're going to create a Python pipeline in Beam that reads messages from PubSub uh, and predicts whether or not a message is toxic. And so uh, what we can do is we can, we can essentially access this lab. Uh, and once we get into the lab page, uh, we can see here we have this lab, uh, and then we have our instructions, and uh, it's it's going to have some sample commands below uh, to make sure that we have the right permissions granted, and then some instructions on what we should do to actually run this lab. Uh, and so the first thing we can do is uh, we can actually hit start lab. And so this is going to start our timer, which is 90 minutes once we start the lab. Uh, and then we can open our Google Cloud Console, and we can use these username and passwords uh, to actually log us in. So you can see once we click on this link, 
uh, we can enter our username, which we can copy from here. And we can also copy our password. And we can log in. And so now this is actually going to grant us uh, access to a Google Cloud instance, uh, or rather a Google Cloud login, where we can actually run our pipelines on the Google Cloud Dataflow runner. Uh, so if we go back uh, so, sort of to these instructions, you can see uh, we'll again have some uh, directories and files that we need to copy over, uh, some installations that we need to kind of run, and then uh, sort of ensure that we have a data set created. Uh, and then really the core of this lab uh, is that we're going to do the same thing, but with a different ML model. And the whole idea behind this is that you can really pick and choose which model is best suited for your needs. Uh, and that's one of the big benefits of Beam ML. So yeah, this lab, uh, again, you have 90 minutes, um, likely will take less. Uh, but you can see here that it kind of walks you through each of the beam primitives that uh, are useful to use. Uh, and also in part two, as we mentioned, you'll actually be running uh, essentially an A-B test to see which model is best suited for your needs. Um, and yeah, that, that'll be on task five. Uh, but I, the idea is that you're going to be basically running two pipelines and seeing which model uh, is actually best for your needs. Um, so that's that's it for this lab. Um, we can then talk about our next lab, uh, which is essentially going to be testing with Apache Beam uh, in Java. And so really, this lab wants to test kind of how uh, how you can unit test P transforms and do funds, uh, which if you remember, are sort of these core operations in Apache Beam. So for example, unit testing, uh, you know, we have uh, this sort of type called p assert and that can test that a p collection is actually equal to his expected value similar to how uh you know java and python how you can like assert equals uh, or things of that nature you can you can actually uh, check on a p collection here uh, and then part two of this lab uh, utilizes test stream which is essentially a way to generate uh, real-time stream of messages uh, but you can control the progression uh, of processing time and watermarks, uh, which uh, if you remember from sort of the streaming labs are like very important. Uh, and really the, the, the idea behind this lab is to give you some helpful unit tests and uh, helpful ideas and how you can add testing to both batch and streaming pipelines. Um, so that lab is essentially, uh, that lab is here. And so if we open it up, you'll see that we have this testing with Apache Beam in Java. Um, so like I mentioned, we can write some unit tests for do funds and P transforms, uh, and it'll kind of walk you through uh, exactly how to do this. Uh, one thing to note is that you'll want to actually open up this uh, your environment in this IDE URL, and that could take a few minutes to fully load. Um, but once you sort of do that, you should be able to see where all the code is and then kind of modify the code uh, to test where these labs are asking for. So that's a little bit about the testing with Apache Beam. Uh, and finally, uh, the last lab is going to be talking about running an ETL pipeline uh, in Apache Beam uh, and running that on the Cloud Dataflow runner. And so if you remember from the first lab, this is actually very analogous to how the first lab was structured, uh, except that one was in Java. This one will be on Python. Uh, so the code here is going to be written in a notebook. Uh, and that's going to be actually hosted and run on Google Cloud Platform infrastructure. Uh, one of the key aspects of this lab is that it's going to uh, introduce you to this Python syntax, uh, which is a little different than Java. Um, and we've tried to make sort of our SDKs uh, mesh well with their native languages. Uh, in this, you're going to be writing to a sync. So you're going to be utilizing uh, BigQuery's I.O. Uh, which is like BigQuery's connector, and you're essentially going to write to BigQuery. And finally, similar to lab one, you're actually going to get to write your own user-defined function, and you can run it in the form of a data flow template. Uh, so if we take a look at this lab, um, this lab is here. Uh, 
So like I mentioned, uh, it's going to look pretty similar to the first lab, except your environment that you're going to be running it on is a little bit different. And if you follow these steps, you'll be able to navigate to where to write your, pi your pipeline code. Um, and yeah, uh, there, there should be clear instructions on how to sort of open uh, the right folder uh, in the repo uh, to write this Python pipeline code. Uh, and then also how to do similar things that we've done in previous labs, like generating the synthetic data, uh, reading from a source, and then like running your pipeline, adding a transformation, writing to a sync. So everything that we did in that first lab, uh, just in Python this time. Uh, and then part two will be sort of dealing a little bit with uh, basically using uh, templates uh, to write user-defined functions. Um, yeah, so thank you. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, but we're, we're more than happy to help. And we hope to see uh, many of you earning these, these badges soon. Thank you.